Mazar. I believe he is from Sweden. Okay. Yeah. yeah. Sweden showing up big in melee, but yet to make that kind of a splash in Smash 4. Here we go, guys. Nico against MVD on Smash Bros. And the stage is set. Here we go. I love this. I, I love this to death when the stage gets set up and KK and all that stuff. Is oh, yeah, fun. it is Saturday night, folks. Come on in for the show. Oh, well, KK will be here in about an hour and a half. Yeah, not quite yet. Unfortunately, Gunblade and Rod will have the uh, distinction yes, commentating that. For sure. So right now, MVD doing just fine. 54%. On Nico, Shulk does have some low percent stuff. Like if he gets a grab, you know, if he could do a, like a lowing, low fall nair, he might be able to pull some stuff right, out. Right. But it's not easy. I feel like he has to be in speed mode for most of his combo to work. Not just because he moves quicker and can catch you, but also because it reduces his attack power and actually the attack will send you less far. Yeah. Thus lending themselves better to combo. Shulk was actually the one of the first characters I made in Smash 4, but that really? didn't last very long. Yeah. Huh. Yeah, but I still play him though. He's, he's fun. All right, here we go. He's going into jump Monado Art, and I, I don't know if I necessarily like this pick, just because you want to keep tight into the ground when you're fighting Diddy, and like not fall into the the banana traps on landing, but also just not be all flying in the air where he can knock you out with forward air. Sure. So I don't know. Oh, let's Good go, response. Nico! I love that response coming out from Nico. He knew that MVD kind of overstepped his boundary a little bit. We saw Nico switch to shield earlier, and he does it again. Yeah, he's yep. trying to st stay away from that down tilt to up smash confirmed. Yep, and he's getting that landing lag cancel with the uh, shield art. Of course, if you activate the art as soon as you land, it will cancel all your landing lag, and you also turn temporarily invincible. Yep. It's kind of nutty. I mean, it makes me wonder, is this character really bad or just horrifically unexplored? Yeah. Well, I mean, I mean like, Shulk has been on that table for so long, like, since 2014, since the game came out. Yeah, so maybe he's like, bad. Yeah. But Nico does but very not well. not Roy, but not Roy. Roy's really good. Yeah, <laughs> Roy is just unexplored. Trust us, guys. <laughs> Nico, the master of characters that really don't get a lot of shine. Oh, almost with that up throw to up air. Not exactly the most reliable setup, but it does kill very early if you manage to land it in that, like, 75% range. Yeah. The Purge. Is that what they call it? Monado Purge, yeah. yeah. Throw I was going to say, I know they have a weird name for it, like they do all those throw combos. I mean, come <laughs> on. In Melee, we went 15 years with up throw up air. Yeah. Anyway. I'm, I'm just glad the Bowser one never caught on. Yes, like, that's please. up throw up air, bro. They're all terrible. Yeah. MVD, though, building this lead slowly but surely. I think Shulk versus Diddy is a huge struggle, not just because of like the tier list disparity between the two, but Diddy historically has done very well against sword characters, man. He could sure. just make sure that your otherwise safe aerial is not going to be safe with that super quick banana toss out of shield. And now we've got Buster form, Buster Art for Nico here, and he tacked on a good amount of damage, but switched right over to speed, just wants that improved neutral instead. Sure. Like, all the reward on hit is great, but it's not going to compensate for Diddy Kong just mowing you down in neutral. Right, and that's what MVD is doing right here. He kind of converted those early grab strings into this huge lead right now that we're seeing. Nico at 129, MVD only at 38. This 90% differential is huge. Nico might be totally confined to that shield, Bonato, honestly. Like, he has jump, and he's going to die for it. it would does shield indeed. have saved him? Uh, yeah, from that, he wouldn't have died. Okay. But jump, of course, does make you die earlier. Yeah. In exchange for all that air mobility and jump height. So, MVD taking that first game very solidly. Yeah. I wonder if we're going to see a character switch from Nico at all here, or if he's just going to stick with the Shulk. Looks like it. Just going right to the stage select. Town and City is the choice. So here we go for game two. All righty. Town and City, man. Definitely one of those stages where if your kill confirms are on point, you don't want to be fighting that person here. Definitely Whoa, forward throw to up smash. I've never seen that. That was so sick. Let's go, MVD. Is it because of speed? No, no, I don't think so. Okay, I was going to say that. I, I've never seen that before. Part of me wonders if it's the attribute thing. Yeah, it just ups his falling speed in terms of uh, combo ability. Right, That's yeah. the only thing that would change. So, still, I mean, I've literally never seen that on any character. <laughs> There's no way that MVD has specific combos just for speed shield. Yeah, and if he does, wild. then hey, credits to you, man, because I definitely <laughs> did not expect that. Yeah. Imagine him being totally ready for this matchup. He seems like he's all over Nico, but it doesn't look like a familiarity with Shulk. It just looks like Diddy stuff, you know? Yeah. It, it, it just 
And that's not discrediting MVD. He's playing perfect in terms of fundamentals, but it looks very difficult for Shulk to be able to really do much out of this. Yeah, absolutely. And I feel like Nico's getting bodied every time he goes into jump arc. Yeah. Just because that higher jump arc, you know, it's way more reactable to when Shulk is going to come down with an aerial. Way Whereas easier speed, to punish landing, yeah. Yeah, speed, he jumps lower and falls faster, just like Linux Cloud. Goes for jump once more. MVD just all over Nico. Can't really find a quarter. He gets the confirm on the banana, but I think he overcommitted. So he got the grab instead of just the up smash. And MVD doing the right thing. This is kind of what you do when the Shulk has shield. You just play passive, wait for the shield to go away. You don't force anything because you don't need to. Why, you know, you're not going to kill him anyway. Right. And just grab him a lot, you know? Shield beats, or grab beats shield. It's bad. So grab him, pummel him, because he's probably at a high percent. You get a lot of pummels. Go for a throw. Get a weak follow-up, but just keep him in the air so the shield mode expires. I'm sorry, shield arm. I've gotten dogged so many times on Twitter for calling it <laughs> Monado or Mode. I'm like, you guys are so picky, but fine. Yeah. It's I, art. It's like right. those people that are like, no, that's Nana. That's not po Dude, yeah. Oh, stop. Yeah, 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 like, yeah, yeah. Come on. You know what we mean. <laughs> Nobody plays her character. Be happy we even know any numbers. No, That's kidding. true, actually. What uh, game is he even from? Like, <laughs> whatever. Oh, uh, Final Fantasy XIV? <laughs> That's Sword Art Online, bro. <laughs> All right, super far off on the left-hand side, but he's okay. Yeah, this Sword Art is looking to be offline because MVD's unplugging the <laughs> internet right now. Yeah, not looking very good for Nico. Just struggling to do really anything in this set as of right now. He's got the banana back out. Gets Nico off on the side. And man, this matchup is just such a struggle. If you can't land safely with an aerial against Diddy Kong, which almost no character can, you're not. Oh, oh, oh. oh. <laughs> well. Wow. Nair to up air, man. I love that combo. I love seeing Diddy Kong players integrate that landing. I love Nair. Into gameplay. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, Nair is such an easy, like, pop up move, but yeah. you never see Diddy's do yeah. it. Dude, from the first day of this game, I was like, oh, Diddy Kong's there. Amazing. Sets up in the spike at 40% by the edge. Do it. Angel Cortez, uh, I don't know, man. 2017. Yo, Nair is so sick. You could spike them off. Just Sounds saying. Sounds like an angel thing to do. Yeah. yeah. That's whatever, man. That's my boy. <laughs> MVD, that's my boy, too. We definitely argue on Twitter a lot, but it's all love. And what is not love, it's what's going on between him and Nico. And if it is, then it's a very uh, rocky relationship, yeah. I'll tell you that much. Yeah, this is not looking good right now for Nico and MVD. MVD just up 2-0. Nico not with any response to this. I, I don't, like, the stocks that he's taken, has he taken a stock? No, yeah, he did last game. Okay, good, yeah. So it just, I don't know, it just does not look good for him. Yeah, this matchup is really, really rough. Imagine finding a character who is more mobile than you, unless you're in speed form. Speed art. <laughs> um, Watch has himself. faster frame data than you, and even though he doesn't have a sword, he has some ridiculous range of his own. Yeah. Diddy Kong doesn't have to get real up close and personal with you. Plus, he has two projectiles. One that can punish your big safe sword moves out of shield. Yeah. Oh, hold up, though. Nico looking like a changed man as he gets the up tilt to up air. What is, what's the name for that? Uh... uh That's the Purge 2. Yeah, there you go. Purge they, 2 they election did a sequel. day. Yeah. There you go. Good stuff from Nico, who pressured MVD way off on the side. Maybe trying to figure some stuff out about this matchup. Maybe he has some reads on MVD. We'll have to see if he can continue this momentum. Yeah, definitely showing that the jump art is worth its salt in this matchup. You can see him jumping around right now. He does not want to touch that floor. Trying to <laughs> stay away. Gets a safe back air on the platform. Oh, unfortunately for Shulk. Not a uh, great deal of true combos, but that up tilt looks like it could get something going for you all the time, you know what yeah, I'm saying? Yeah, definitely. It's also very strong, actually, in terms of a kill move, depending on the right. uh, on the percent of his opponent. Have seen that killed often. Very interesting to go into shield at only 102%. Feel like Shulk could definitely stand to take a little bit more of a beating here without slowing himself down. And this art definitely weakens his neutral. That's why MVD's just standing there. He knows that Nico, if he wants to keep that shield, he's going to have to approach him. Right. So he just stands on the other side of the stage and says, I'm waiting for that to be done. Here we go. Back into jump art. Very interesting because it looks like he's trying to pressure MVD with aerials, but that just makes it a little bit harder. Granted, he does get the extra drift, of course, so he could stay safe in a different way. So back to shield once more. MVD realizing he can't get an up smash, so he just gets the down tilt into the grab. A little bit of free damage off that, but MVD kind of... 
having trouble shaving this first stock off. Jump art is online. No up smash coming out from MVD. Does not have the banana at his disposal. He's just getting kind of run over by these aerials. Yeah, this is some serious signs of life from Nico. I think we're going to see him take this third game here and at least put one on the board for himself. Yep. He's an extremely talented player despite using a character that a lot of people just kind of count out from the get-go. Sure. I don't oh, know if he intentionally tripped. Yeah, I, I'm not sure he tripped right there, and I, MVD could have just did a running up smash, but instead he does a dash attack, and Nico lives another day. All right, MVD going to pick heads from the 50-50 there. Gets away from the up air with a simple air dodge, but Nico's going to take that into account for the next time that situation arises. Right. MVD just continually monkey flipping. Yeah, whether it grabs or he has to do the kick. He knows he's relatively safe, especially with Shulk and shield, mo shield Art. He doesn't have to worry about getting chased down too much. Yeah, absolutely. So Very finally dying to a back throw at almost 200%. MVD can get some early strings going on with these grabs. Have to see what he can pull off. 19% off of one, so I feel like it's another four grabs and then MVD's back in the lead. Right. Is just about as easy done as it is said <laughs> because of the banana. Yeah, not then, terribly difficult. Yeah, then again, it is Shulk who can put himself in some very mobile transformations. All right, there we go. Just a couple more grabs once again. And then we're going to have to wait out shield mode, uh, shield art. Jeez, <laughs> I'm so sorry. From Shulk, uh, if MVD is going to land this kill. Yeah. Gets the forward air off on the side. MVD having trouble landing, but he eventually does. It's the back throw off stage. He has the smash uh, art. Yep. <laughs> we haven't seen this yet. There's the forward tilt off on the side. Nico, as soon as he pulls it out, uses it. Very smart on his part. All right. This Putting is a good result. Yeah. I can't disagree with you there, Shulk. That kills me. Yeah. <laughs> What's the corn one? Oh, no, it's Pit. I won! Oh, yeah. <laughs> corn just says, good. Like yeah, that's it. yeah. All right, All right. Guys, so game four, MVD currently up 2 1 on Nico, who's apparently been, uh, you know, coming back here on this set. Definitely pulled some new stuff out. Yeah, I mean, not that he exactly has to learn the Diddy Kong matchup on the fly or anything, but. Still, I mean, like, he, he's got plenty of experience in this hands-on, but he's still trying to figure out MVD's distinct style of Diddy as he goes. And I guess that's the real benefit of best of five sets, right? You can figure your opponent out a little bit more than in a best of three format. He's got a lot more wiggle room. Sure. Good stuff on that down tilt there. Gets the grab confirmed, tries to chase Nico off on the side. Excellent down tilt once more. Yeah, I love that spacing. He walked away just a little bit, and then a quick turnaround down tilt. Yeah. Still within range. So much damage coming out here, yeah. Yeah, looking like, at least the way this stock is going, MVD may be poised to take the set home in this fourth game. Though, I don't know, Nico has shown to be an extremely resilient player. Just the fact that he was able to put that game up last time uh, in the face of almost getting 3-0'd yep. is impressive in its own right. I don't know if the balloon slowing that down actually <laughs> hurt Nico there. Yeah, I'm not sure. I'm just going to pretend it didn't because it would upset me if it did. <laughs> He's got the banana right now. MVD just kind of waving it out. Doesn't want to force anything on Nico. He is in jump art, but still, he doesn't want to you know, force his hand too much right now. Nothing is available. Nico almost caught looking there. Yeah, shield was not available for a couple seconds there, and it would have saved Nico. But then he had to just go into speed and almost died to the forward air in the process. Right. Now he's got it, though, so he's going to be able to stay around for at least another few seconds here. And we've seen Nico, by far, go for smash art the least. Yeah. I think he only did it once in that last, like, at the very end, you know? So I don't think we're going to see a lot of it just because he knows it puts him at great risk of dying way before his time. Yeah. Of course, the other side to that is that he can kill MVD way before his time. But he's going to have to first build, I want to say, about 80 to 90% before that really becomes a problem. Right, yeah. And honestly, when you're down this much, yeah, that's just 
not there. When you're down this much, it's really just off the table. Right. You're off. down, you know, one, two, and you've got a whole stock to take off, and it's just not good. Got the rare backslash there, though. Oh, and he anticipated a roll from the edge. That would have been a sick read, but MVD just not giving it to him. He wasn't scared enough, and I feel like there was no reason for him to be, just because Nico hasn't really been keeping the pressure on him like he should. Right. Not even that that's Nico's fault, just Shulk is very limited in this matchup, man, and as you see, He's also extremely comboable, and down tilt the forward smash on characters that fall into that, it's gonna mop him up real quick around that 95% mark. Yeah, that just looked really ugly for Nico, unfortunately. So MVD will take that 3-1. I mean, Nico got that game off, looked fine, but the end of that last game, MVD didn't even take 100%. So, yeah. what can you do? Well, very well played by MVD. I believe that was a winner's bracket match as well. Sure. I'm not entirely positive, though. Um, however, this, J.J. Rockets versus Fallen, I know for sure is losers as J.J. Rockets was um, the victim of Kashmir before really? he encountered Zero, yes. Oh yeah, you did mention that. Yep. Yeah, 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 yeah. And okay. this is actually the last set that Coney and I will be 